What's up guys, my name's Brandon, and today Apple released iOS 26 Beta 3 to registered developers, and we should be seeing the first public beta very soon. And we'll talk about that in a little bit, but along with this iOS 26 Beta 3 update, we also got the third beta for iPad OS 26, Watch OS 26, Mac OS 26, and Vision OS 26. But of course, in this video, we are talking about iOS 26 Beta 3. And as you can see here, the size was massive so 9.53 gigabytes on my iphone 16 pro max coming from beta 2 so a very unusual size and there was also a large discrepancy online for what other users we're seeing in terms of the size of this update. So your update size might not be nearly as large as this. And also for some reason, the update finished very quickly. So maybe that was a visual bug with the size. We don't know, but it's very unusual across the board this time. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the build number for this new update. So if we go into our settings, head into general about 26, the new build is 23A5287G. So we now have a G at the end of the build number. And if we go back and then go down to the modem firmware, that is actually unchanged in beta three. So it remains at 2.03.00, the same as in beta two. Okay, so now what's new here with iOS 26 beta three? And the first thing is going to be a pretty big change across the board with the liquid glass design because it has been toned down again with beta three. So with beta one, we saw like the original liquid glass that we saw in the presentation. In beta two, it was toned down a little bit. And then in beta three, it's been toned down a little bit more. So you can see this. Of course, you do have to look close for this, but that's what we do in these beta test videos. You will see that it's more of like a frosted glass now in beta three on the right. So throughout this video, I will have beta two on the left beta three on the right, you could see in the control center, it's just a little bit more legible now. So some people might like that change because it's more, you know, easy to read than it was before. Also, if you go to the notification center and you look at the notification center bubbles, you will see that the bubbles are now easier to read as well. So it's a little bit more dull, not as glass like on the notification center and the control center. But if you want to see a big difference, go into the music application, because here's where you can see quite the difference from beta two to beta three. So if we go over to like library, for example, we go over this red, you can see that it's a lot more opaque. Now there's a lot more opacity than there was on beta two. If we go over to the new tab and we scroll up on these album covers right here, you can see how there's clearly more of that glass style in beta two than what we're seeing here in beta three. So definitely toned down quite a bit. And you will see that throughout iOS 26 beta three. Also in Safari, you'll see a pretty big change in Safari as well with the address bar. So this one actually I think is a, a pretty good change because it was kind of hard to read the letters in the address bar at times. But you'll notice that now, you know, it's it's a lot more like white. It's not as glassy as it was before. And you can really see that change too when you start to scroll and you can see that background color you know, really fading in there in beta two, but you don't see that in beta three. And here's another example in the weather applications. We have beta two on the left, beta three on the right. And I'm not in dark mode, but for some reason they changed this UI to look more like a dark theme. And you can see kind of when you scroll over the little storm cloud there, you can see it just looks much better in beta two, in my opinion. Now, again, it may not be the best for accessibility, but I just think it looks more like the actual liquid glass that Apple announced at WWDC in beta two than what we get in beta three. And here's what that change in liquid glass looks like in the photos application. I think in photos and music, it's like the most apparent. You can see a really big difference, especially when you start scrolling over top of you know, different designs and different colors and the background, you can really see the difference there. And like I've been saying ever since beta one, we are going to see multiple changes to the liquid glass design throughout this whole beta cycle. So ever since beta one, we've been seeing changes and I would not expect that to stop after beta three, we're going to continue seeing new changes, new tweaks, new iterations to the liquid glass design, whether that's UI elements, whether that's just the control center, notification center, whatever the case may be, we are going to continue to 
see several iterations and several changes to liquid glass. So none of this should be taken as final. We are still in an early beta. We're not going to see iOS 26 until September. This is just testing. This is what Apple does, especially when there's a redesign. There's a lot that Apple has to, you know, mess around with until they get it just right. And also Apple takes into account our feedback. So if you submit feedback in the feedback application and just feedback on social media in general, Apple is paying attention to that. So they are going to continue to tweak that based on that as well. It's not going to be the only reason, of course, but that is just another area they are checking, especially the feedback application. So if you guys ever have any issues or ever want anything to be changed, make sure you submit that in the feedback application. That is your duty as a developer beta tester. And of course, same with public beta testers as well when that does get released. But interestingly, in the notes application, beta three actually looks better than beta two. So if you take a look at the contextual menu right here, we have more of that liquid glass design in beta three compared to beta two, which is interesting. So pretty much everything else is the other way around, but in notes, it's not the case. And actually it's not just notes because also you have some pretty big changes in maps related to the liquid glass design. So first off right here, if you go to a business, you will see that underneath of the call button and the website, we now have the hours, the payment accepted and the distance that's now centered before that was left aligned. Also, it shows the distance now right here. It never showed that before. And you can see a subtle change to the liquid glass design down here in the bottom right as well. Again, it's more of like that frosted glass now, as you can see right there. And if we scroll down a little bit further, you can see that underneath of details before it would show hours as kind of like a subheading under that. But now in beta three, hours has its own heading right there. And it also now says open right underneath of it before it would only show open underneath of the time but now the time is right aligned instead of being left aligned and also there's a new normal hours option right there so before it just said hours and you could tap on that and get the drop down now it shows the hours up top right there for like today and then you have the option for normal hours and then underneath of hours we now have the details section right there and you can see that this looks a little bit different as well the phone number website and address are all to the right now whereas before they were left aligned Aligned. And here's the change to liquid glass. So if you take a look at the design up top for the you know navigation turn by turn, it now has the liquid glass design, whereas before it did not. It just had that black and gray outdated design. So also you can see that the grabber is now at the very bottom instead of being below the first street that you need to turn on. And if you tap on the navigation bar at the bottom, we now have the arrival, the amount of time remaining and the amount of miles remaining up there at the top. It did not show that before. You can see it live updates as well. Also add stop has a new glyph icon to the left of it. There's now share ETA report and incident has a new glyph and also voice controls has a new glyph icon. So small changes, but all of those are changed. Oh, and also the phone right here next to Lululemon is larger now than it was in beta two. This update also adds some new variations of the iOS 26 default wallpaper. So if you go into your wallpapers and go down to iOS, you will see multiple new versions. So the new default is now called shadow. So it's kind of a darker version of what we had before i believe this was the original default this one is called sky and then we also have halo and then we have my personal favorite which is dusk so we now have all these options for the default ios 26 wallpaper which is awesome because it does adjust with the time that's my main reason i love using this wallpaper but yeah so those are new here in ios 26 beta 3 and while we're here on the lock screen if you put your music in full screen to get the you know animated album artwork on the lock screen if you go into that and then out of it you'll notice that our widgets remain there and beta one and beta two I've had issues with them disappearing and of course that was a bug but that's been fixed here with beta three and the Safari application if we go to the three dots right here and go to bookmarks we have some minor changes here so first off up in the top right we no longer have that little outline around the three dots so it's a slightly different glyph icon now up here in that top right menu and then underneath of folders we no longer have as much padding as we had beforehand in beta 2 and also the glyph glyph icons, I think they actually look a little bit worse now, but you can see in beta three, we now have kind of a gray background behind all of those glyphs, whereas we did not have a background before. And man, I am really missing that liquid glass design in Safari. Take a look at beta two on the left, beta three on the right. It just looks so much better in beta two, in my opinion. Like, what do you guys think about the change to liquid glass 
in this update. In the mail application, if you take a look underneath of inbox, it now shows which category you're in to the left of when it was updated. So before it would just say updated at a certain time. Now it shows promotions under that because I'm currently in promotions. And if I change it, it will change as well. So now it says updates. I'm in the updates section and then it shows when it was updated. Also, when you go to manually categorize a message, we now have new colors for the glyph icon. So it's just very subtle, but the icons are now a little bit darker than they were in beta two. So especially you can see that for promotions, but all of them are a bit darker. Now also with beta three, I got this pop up for the first time. So I'm not sure if this is new in beta three or not, but this is the first time I've been prompted for this on iOS 26. So it says accessibility settings would like to send you notifications. So now the accessibility settings specifically will be able to send you notifications on your device. So I did not have that in beta two. And if we go into our settings and then go down here to notifications and then scroll down, you will see up top, we now have accessibility settings. So that was not there for me in a beta two, at least not that I saw. And there's a really minor change in the camera settings. So if we go all the way down to the bottom of our camera settings, where we get down to lens cleaning hints before that was all the way down at the bottom and it had its own little subheader right here. But now it's above the save captures to photo library section. And it does not have that little subheader anymore announcing what it is. So it's kind of just jumbled in now with all the other you know, features. Maybe Apple thought that was going to be a bigger feature than it was. Not sure, but that has been adjusted with beta three. And if you take a look at the files application, the app icon has a slightly different shade of blue. So it's very subtle, but there is a difference from beta two to beta three. Now, as far as bug fixes go in iOS 26 beta three, first off the dock bug has been fixed. So before in beta two, where the icons would be left aligned after you went out of that, that's been fixed. You can see they now go back to being centered just as intended. Also, also, some users were having an issue in Safari when they opened a link in the background. So it opens that up in a different tab in the background. Sometimes people said that would freeze up their Safari application. That appears to be fixed here in beta three. I've not had any type of freezing issues. Also in the messages application, if you have an animated wallpaper in the background, that appears to be better now in beta three in terms of it's not super stuttery like before, even in beta two, it was a little bit better, but there was still quite a bit of, you know, frame droppage going on. So I don't see that as much in beta three, which is a good sign. And honestly, across the board with beta three, we'll talk about this in a minute, but performance does seem to be better here in beta three so far, just from using the phone for a couple of hours. But we'll talk about that within the performance section. But before that, I do want to take a look at the release notes here because the release notes are quite extensive. And you can see that we have several known issues, but also a lot of resolved issues. So I'm not going to read off all of these. I will leave these down in the description below if you would like to read them, but there are quite a few resolved issues. There's only one new feature mentioned in the release notes, and that is related to developers and 3D modeling. So that's not going to apply to a lot of people, but that is something new I wanted to mention. And it looks like Apple has still not fixed the camera issues. So there's a couple of issues right here. So it says in some cases, the mode selection picker remains expanded after launch that's a bug but the bug I've noticed the most is this one right here where it says sharing a photo immediately after capture might take longer than expected so that's still an issue with beta 3 but thankfully Apple did fix the keyboard bug where it says sometimes keyboards are missing keys in first-party applications the keys are not visible but users are still able to type over the missing key to use it so that's been fixed with beta 3 and Apple also fixed the issue where wallpapers and posters with adaptive clock lose depth if you upgrade from beta one to beta two. So if you had the adaptive clock, you know, losing its depth, that's been fixed. And there are quite a few other ones as well. Like I mentioned, I will leave this down below if you want to look through it. Okay, so now let's talk about the performance and the battery life with iOS 26 beta three. So I've been using the update for about three hours at this point, And I have to say that so far, it absolutely feels better than beta two. So beta two was very bad for me. Performance was just not great. I was having a lot of frame rate issues, a lot of applications freezing up and just force quitting themselves. I just had a lot of issues with beta two, as have a lot of others that is expected for a second developer beta of such a big redesigned software. So no complaints, 
but with beta 3 I can absolutely tell a difference just right away I mean it has been a few hours but still I can tell a difference also with heat I'm not getting as much heat output as I have in past updates I hold my phone here for like an hour when I make these videos you know while I'm recording and every time before in beta 1 and beta 2 my phone got a lot more warm than it's getting here with beta 3 so that is a good sign for battery life as well but as far as performance goes I think there's a pretty big change in performance it's a lot more stable and you know it's still not going to be the best it's still not going to be perfect but I can tell at least a little difference going from beta 2 to beta 3. I did run a Geekbench 6 test here we didn't score very well honestly probably because I had just installed the update but still a 32 29 single core 85 55 multi-core so that is lower than beta 2 but just in terms of actually using the device I still have stutters every once in a while you know when I'm in applications especially like in messages and things like that I'm still having some stutter but it's not nearly as frequent as it was in beta 2 so that is a good sign we are well on our way to having at least a usable public beta and we'll talk about that public beta in a moment but let's talk about the battery life because I'm sitting at 79 percent battery remaining right now you guys will have to go back to the beginning of this video and tell me what I started the video with not the very beginning when it was a screenshot but a little bit into the video because I think that I'm actually doing pretty well with battery life here in beta 3 and like I said that heat output that my phone not getting as hot with beta 3 is going to be a good sign for the battery life I would guess if I had to guess I would say that battery life is going to be better with beta 3. now of course I'm not going to say officially that battery life is better that's just my first impressions so far like always I will give you an update in a few days in my Apple weekly episode on Saturday after actually using the software every day for an entire week that's when I can officially tell you for sure if performance and battery life are better so stay tuned for that video as always okay so now let's talk about when to expect iOS 26 public beta and iOS 26 developer beta 4. so I would expect to see iOS 26 public beta next week so typically Apple waits about a week before releasing the public beta after releasing developer beta 3. that's what they did last year so I'd expect it to be very similar this year so that that means that we could be seeing iOS 26 public beta on July 14th maybe even July 15th now could it come earlier could it come later yes of course this is just my guess based on history and what Apple has done in the past now we know for sure that it's coming in July but my guess would be next week now if you're on the developer betas I would expect to see developer beta 4 the week after the first public beta so that puts us on July 21st so Apple has been loving these Mondays lately so I would expect that to continue there's no reason to think it's not going to continue so we should be seeing public beta next week developer beta 4 the week after on July 21st and of course the final public release is not going to be out until sometime most likely in mid September Apple will announce that date the official date at a later time so I'll keep you guys updated on that but for now let's focus on public beta and developer beta 4 coming within the next couple of weeks anyways guys that is iOS 26 beta 3 let me know your thoughts on the changes to the liquid glass design do you feel like it was a regression like we went backwards or do you like the new changes better you think it's easier to read you know you just like it better than the original liquid glass I'm really curious to know what you guys think about these changes made in beta 3 but if you guys enjoy this video I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future iOS 26 videos but anyways guys thanks for watching and I'll see you soon